Hi you guys, so I thought it'd be fun to um play one of those like romance story plays where you act as like the character. So um yeah, let's go. Alright, language choice, obviously English. I do not speak any other languages. You have selected English, continue. They always choose a random name. As cute as Jessica is, I really like the name Melody. I think that was the first name it chose, so I decided to finally buy it because after five seconds, I realized it might be like a really good story. So I'm just gonna, you know, narrate it and play it as I go. And I obviously mistyped Melody. My bad. Alright, enter the name you'd like to use in the story. You can do it as many times as you like. So there is a 10 character name limit, maybe change later. I guess we have a limit of 10 times to change our name, but let's just go with Melody. Even though there's a million names, I don't even know. Honestly, I just think the detail in the background is so cute. Like, look at that. That little like character right there on the side. And then, yeah, let's get ready for our romance and our mystery. Are you sure you want this name, Melody? Yes. All right, let's get the story started then. Hey, Kama Kanyushi, hold up. Sorry, that's gonna be the way I pronounce it. Honestly, I love it. I think his hair is kind of nice. Like, I like the color. What? Isn't it time you gave up looking for a model? Ryo, Ayasaki's right. I cannot allow, like, the pending decision for a model to wait any longer. So I guess basically this is a story where the girl um is average and the guy chooses her because he thinks he's going to be perfect for his role as a new model. That's literally what I got based on um the first time I tried the demo version, which was pretty nice because it gives you a preview of this game. I don't think I've seen that many gameplays, but you know. Why not make one? I think these kind of games are fun because of the animation and because like you see like the detail they make in like the characters. All right, I was just waiting because apparently it like took a minute or so. Of course, at this rate, we won't be able to shoot in time. I might progress it more because I'm not sure how to save it. I barely actually bought this game you got a compromise kamiyushi we can just use the caucasian model from alias again or Elias again i guess besides i thought i'd entertain you guys because these kind of stories seem really cute and fun so shut up it's my clothes that the model will be wearing no way am i compromising Sorry, I cannot make a guy voice even if I want to try. It'd be a little weird. If you listen, if if you won't listen after everything we said, does that mean you already have a girl in mind? Do you really think he has a girl in mind? You think after spending all that time looking and coming up empty handed? It happened one weekend. No way! I had made my monthly salon reservation that day, but it's closed. I stare blankly at the paper tapped to the entrance of the salon. They didn't even contact me. I didn't make any other plans for today except for this. As I spend my everyday not over overwhelming dissatisfied, but not entirely satisfied either.
This monthly visit to the salon to give myself a modest makeover has always been something I've looked forward to. Thus, I find myself taken aback by my canceled appointment. I guess I didn't mean much to them as a customer if they didn't even bother contacting me. Writing just how insignificant my success is in this world. <sighs> Sorry, I am filled with a sense of misery and sadness. Just as my tears begin to well up. Hey, don't cry. What? Oh, yeah, get that preview over there. <laughs> Who is this? Your tears are too valuable to shit over something as stupid as this, right? Um. Dot, dot, dot. Who is this guy? Question mark. Yup, it's got to be you. Wait, what? I'm sure of it now. You're the only one who can be my princess. Ex ex excuse me? You're the one who I've been searching for all this time. I think Auto saves it, I'm pretty sure. The girl who will be the muse for my inspiration. Come. Obviously, this is part one. Anyways, um, the man in front of me suddenly grabs my hand. I'm going to put a spell on you and change your life. Ooh. My name is Ryo Kamiyushi. And you? I'm... My name is Melody. All right, Melody. Let's go. Kamiyushi suddenly calls out my name and lightly places his hand against my back. Well, well, where are we going? To our Tillier Princess Closet. That is so cute. Like, Princess Closet. So crazy and cute. I like it. The reason why I followed Kamiyushi was because his hand touching my back was gentle. And because he seemed to be enjoying himself like a little boy up to mischief. And because I thought he might just be able to put a spell on me. That's a little charming. And change my life forever. All right, this narrating thing though. <laughs> All right, we descend the stairs to the basement of a multi-tenant building and there I see a small signboard. Death recommend so far. Princess Closet. Yes. This is where your life will change. Kimiyushi laughs and opens the door. Oh. Welcome to Princess Closet. Three men welcome me. I think this is where you save. I see. So this is the girl you were after. Hmm. She's a little plain. I agree. With Ayasaki, she's somewhat ordinary. Are you sure you're okay with her? And yeah, I think this is it so far. Let me know if you want like a part two or anything. Bye.